In this video, we're going to try and understand why L'Hopital's rule works. Why is it that when you're trying to evaluate this limit, you can simply differentiate the top, and then you can simply differentiate the bottom, and then uh, and then just evaluate this this limit to find out this limit. So we're going to try and investigate why. But before we do that, I need you to understand. I need you to um, to to be able to recognize that whenever you see this, you this is exactly the same as this. Because let's say you've got any given function. Let's say you've got this function f of x. Uh, this point here is a, and then this here is x. So, uh, so if you look at this, I need you to to be able to recognize that whenever you see this, this is simply the derivative of f of x. Because if you look at this f of x, so if you put x into here, it will jump. It will jump straight to here. So now, if if you put, but so so basically, if you put a into here, it will jump to here. Basically, this thing here is this height here, and then uh, this bit here, x take away a, x take away a. That's that's this length here. So that's this length here. So basically, you've got the height divided by the the uh, the, the width here. So that's that's like the height rise over run, rise over one run as as x tends to a. As x tends to a, so as x as x tends to a, it means it means that this gap here, it means that this gap is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. As x tends to a, the uh, the the gap is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So here you you should be able to by now recognize that whenever you see this, you can just jump to this. Um, that's this here is very similar to this because if you look at this here, let, let's. These two are actually the same thing, but written differently. So this, this here, in this case here, this is x, and this is x plus h. And the, the across here, the, the run here, is really denoted by, by h. It's really denoted by h. Here, it's denoted by x minus a. But, but then here, you're taking x tending to a. So this thing here is going to head towards zero anyway. But here we, we are using h to represent the actual uh, run here. So h, h, but here you've got h tending to zero. So it is pretty much the same here. Um, uh, this bit here is h, uh, x plus h, f of x plus h, take away f of x. So, so this thing here, this thing here is the height here. And then, uh, that, that's the same as this. And then the, the across here is given by h, which is the same as this here. But the only difference is that, um, up here it's saying, uh, get x to move towards a. Get x to move towards a. So eventually this gap here will, will head towards zero. But down here it's saying, well, h is the actual gap. And then as h tends to zero, it's saying get the gap to move closer and closer to zero. So this is heading towards zero, this is heading towards zero, they're both saying the same thing. So so just bear in mind that when, when you see this, you can immediately jump to this. Um, so 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 train yourself to recognize that whenever you see anything of this form here, you can just jump to um, f prime of x. Okay, so now um, I will continue in the next video.